So how much are you getting paid? How much are you getting paid per hour? Why did German lose or what happened in World War Two? Thank you very much, Mr. Muller. When it's actually Muller. Hitler was like that and Hitler was like this and that and Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Annabelle to those who are new to this channel and to those who've always been there, welcome back. I really, really appreciate your support and thank you once again for tuning in. In today's video, I'm going to talk about five things that you do not say to German or things that you don't actually talk about to Germans. I realized I haven't done these videos in a long time and yeah, here we are. I'm back again. And I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I'm posting something. Let's not waste time. Let's get into the video. The first thing that we're going to talk about is, of course, World War II. World War II, uh, who was winning? Why did German lose? Or what happened in World War II? This is a topic that you can never talk about with the Germans because this is the darkest point in their history and they don't want to hear about that. And, you know, with the whole Nazi thing and all those things, this is a topic that they don't want to go back to. So please don't talk World War II with the Germans or don't talk Nazis or anything like that with the Germans. It's a no-go area. The second thing that we're going to talk about is something related to the first thing. It's of course Hitler. Hitler was like that and Hitler was like this and that and Hitler was, you know, I, I don't even want to talk about those jokes. You don't make jokes on Hitler. You don't talk Hitler when you're with Germans. It's a something that they also don't want to go back to. It's a history and they just want to forget it. So never discuss or talk about Hitler when you're sitting with Germans or when you are in a train with Germans or wherever. Don't talk Hitler and don't make jokes about Hitler. We know, you know, around the world, we make jokes about Hitler, even back home when we're doing um, World War II, uh, European history at school, we would make jokes about Hitler. Or in the world, people make jokes about Hitler around the world. But not with Germans. They take that thing serious and it's something that they don't want to go back to. When they remember Hitler, I don't think they have good memories about everything that happened during that time. And... Yeah, nobody wants to be reminded about their darkest points in their lives. So don't talk anything Hitler with the Germans. The third thing that we're going to talk about is, of course, finances. So how much are you getting paid? How much are you getting paid per hour? Or how much are you getting paid in a month? Is it uh, after taxes or before taxes? How much do you get before taxes? You know, it's normal, for example, in my country to ask people how much they're getting or anything like that. Like, how much are you getting paid or how much is, the, is it paying you or so how much do you get in a month or anything like that. It's a common question that we, we, we ask each other back home, but not with Germans. Germans are very private with their finances. It's really an awkward question to ask to ask someone how much they are paying, they would never reply you. They would just look at you and think, like, what's wrong with you? So if you're with Germans, never talk finances. Never ask them how much they, they, they are getting or anything. Even small conversations like how much are you paying for your flat? Of course, they are open to talk about that. But not all of them are open to talk about how much they pay for what, how much they give out for what, especially their pay, their loan, the money that they get or the money that they're working for. They never want to discuss that. It's a no-go area. The fourth thing that we're going to talk about is, of course, the issue of, of pronouncing their names wrong. Thank you very much, Mr. Muller, when it's actually Muller. Don't do that. 
you don't want to pronounce German names wrong. So if you are not sure, you'd rather just, I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce it well, or you pronounce it and ask, did I pronounce it well? I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it well. Please don't forget to say sorry when you didn't pronounce it right, because they take that thing serious, like really seriously. You don't want to pronounce uh, Sabine or Mula Mula, you know, all those names, or especially those names with uh, uh, or something like that, you don't want to pronounce them wrong. They don't like that. So if you're not sure about pronouncing a name, just say, I'm not sure about it. I'm not sure about the pronunciation. Is it right? Or how do you pronounce it? Or you just don't say it, especially when you are reading in class or anything. And then there's a name that you don't understand. You jump it. You actually don't read it wrong. They don't like it. They don't like their names pronounced wrong. And if you happen to do it, please don't forget to say, sorry, I didn't pronounce it right. Or I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it right. Something like that. But never pronounce their names wrong. The fifth thing that we're going to talk about is, of course, a football. You know, Germans take their football very, very serious. Schalke, Schalke is the best team in German. And yeah, nobody can beat that team. They're the best, actually. So you don't want to meet in a group of people where you are not sure about which teams they support and start talking about football and your team and everything. You know, for us back home, it's easy to say, ah, he's a Man U fan, you laugh at them, or he's a Liverpool, Loserpool fan, and you laugh at them, and it goes on like that. With Germans, you don't do that. They take their football, their local football, very serious, so you don't get to a group of people and start talking about the Bayern team or about the Dortmund team or about Schalke, or football is a topic that you don't want to talk about, especially especially if you don't know which teams people are supporting in a certain group or anything like that because they take their football really, really serious. So if you don't know people, if you're not sure about what they're supporting, just leave football stories out. Especially when you're talking about their local football. Maybe if it's international, they don't care because they really take their own football serious. So be careful. When you are with Germans, don't bring football into the conversations if you are not sure which teams they are supporting. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you guys on my next video. Comment down below and let me know your experiences if you live in Germany, if ever there's anything that they don't like that I didn't really talk about. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.